good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Let me move my eyes a little bit. Lighting is crazy, but it is Saturday, April 13th, and very early in the morning. Let's see what time it is. Oh, my computer started over. I think it's 4.30. 4.30. Um, I am up early. I've been up about half an hour. Oops. Um, I have to, for the first 30 minutes that I'm up, I, I take my thyroid medication. First things has to be an empty stomach. And I drink a bunch of water. That's my routine. 30 to minutes to an hour. Okay, so... What have I been up to, or what am I up to today? I have some Sephora products because I did end up buying a few things that I needed from Sephora, from the Sephora sale. So I did get some new, uh, three new Sephora products. They were like things I needed, but I tried different brands. Studio today, my niece is in town and she has actually a pretty interesting like weight loss journey weight she's lost a lot of weight this year i think maybe like 55 pounds in the last and it's dumping i know holy shit oh you want to say hi to the vlog <laughs> to mm. the vlog good morning i mean an early start on the vlog man yeah i start early this is a whole day but you know what it it's like raining hard like a big storm that's crazy. I didn't know. I went out earlier. It wasn't raining. When I took the dogs out last night, I could tell it was stormy. Mm. Like, the the the, the environment was angry. It it's, wasn't raining yet, but you could hear the anger in the air. It was yeah, weird. Yeah, they said it was going to be like that today. Yeah, all I have is this this podcast, and then I'm, uh, I'm not even going to stay for your interview. I'm going to take Michelle to Luna. And then Tyler's going to do your... Okay. I got a damn work. SF in this BS. I think it'll be done by no, then. No, it says it's ending at 10 a.m. Yeah, so... That's cool. By the time I get out of the gym, it'll be done. <clears throat> That's good. At least not all day. Yours. I know. Okay. So, obviously, we're going, we're in the studio. I have a special episode of my podcast with my niece who's going to document, like, her weight loss journey and her struggles with weight over the years and then she's gonna stay for my patreon show patreon is where we get a little deeper because it's a little more private got some interesting stuff to get into over there anyways um so ghost lifestyle is needed right now bear bells protein bar i have some products to show you i have a new handbag that i'm obsessed with I'm currently trying to shop for outfits for an upcoming trip. Uh, so that's what I wanted to get done today. I wanted to like go online and like get some outfit inspo. I need inspo. It's a Miami trip and I'm just like blank. I haven't really done much in so long that I'm blanked out. As a result of that trip, I'm currently cutting. So this is now... Two weeks into my cut, it feels so much better already. And I have five weeks left, so I have plenty of time. All right. I'm actually editing right now. I'm editing one of Mike's shows. Um, I'm editing one. Oh, by the way, this is healing nicely, but it's dry right now. Not at all done this whole side needs to get done and then the like filler area so that it looks sleeved doing some editing on mike's show he did a really cool interview actually esco elite mindsets his show on youtube and i actually do script editing so i watch through i watch back through and then i just kind of clean, you know, clean it up for context. And then this software actually removes ums and uhs and all that. So I'm going through all of that. I've already, everything that I edit, you, I do the 
first pass is like adding the graphics and things like that. And then the second pass is editing the script. So the words, it's very tedious. And I have a lot of shows that I do now because I do Mike's show. I do someone else's show. Um, and he has some really interesting guests, like celebrity guests and stuff. So I do his show. And then I do my own show and we have Canada with Coffee two episodes a week. Plus we have our Patreon show. I do a lot of editing and usually I do, I walk I walk on the treadmill while I'm editing, but my brother's actually here um, and he's in that room where the treadmill is. So I don't want to interrupt him. So I'm just editing from the, from the desk. Um, but yeah, even on the weekends, I work in the mornings. I work every single morning, but on the weekends, I don't work usually as long, but I, today after the podcast is done, I'll be kind of like done with work for the day if I want, if I want to be done. I can kind of like chill the rest of the day. But that's kind of what I do in my morning hours. That's why I usually don't vlog for you guys too much in the morning. Because by the time I get like my morning work done and then I start vlogging. Um, but anyways, I want to show you a little more today of like what my real behind the scenes in is. And look, messy. Um, yeah. Just kind of, this is not my vibe. I like, I don't like clutter, but this is just the nature of my life these days. So you guys are getting the real deal. Eventually, I'd like it so that my off my office isn't in the same, isn't in my closet. That'd be kind of nice, right? And then this was just my makeup table, but basically my desk doubles as the place where I do my makeup. My makeup is in the drawers. I'd like to separate that at some point. Ugh, you guys. I'm in this mood with my life where I want to get rid of everything. Like I feel like I just have clutter and shit everywhere. <laughs> it's so stressful sometimes. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to finish up editing and then uh, I'm going to take a shower and get ready. And so when I'm getting ready, I'll show you those new um, Sephora products. Hello, handsome. You guys don't want to go out today, huh? It's so raining outside. It's so raining. You're going to follow mama. You're going to follow mama. Oop, messy room. Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's not your toy. That is not your toy. That is not your toy. I desperately would look leaner and better if I had a tan right now. I am so pale. I didn't even have time to spray tan this week with my um, loving tan, but that's okay. It's raining anyway. It would have rained off, so that's how I'm gonna feel better about it. These, these are great, by the way. These are what I wash my face with. Um, they're clean towels from Amazon. So I already washed my face. I'm going to clean it off with some micellar water. I showered last night. But I didn't wash my hair. I was going to shower again today and wash my hair and do it. Because we're doing the pod. But you know what? With this rain, I could hear the rain right up here at the skylight up here. It is pouring. So it's like, why bother? I dry shampooed it. We are. Hi, my handsome. No, you stay out. You stay. Oh, let's say hi to the vlog. They never see you. They never see you, but you're there. You're always there. They just never see you. Perception sometimes. People think they see like your whole life in the vlog. And they're like, why don't you ever show your other dogs? I'm like, because when I'm with them, I'm relaxing and I'm not working and I'm not vlogging. You know what I mean? Whereas the littles, they're with me even when I'm working. And that's why you see them. So, because these, these, the other dogs are with Mike when he's working. With my current skincare, I've been using the Peach and Lily. 
So this is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. So I just put a serum on. I have a, um, this is their antioxidant face cream. I usually only use that at night. This is my Summer Fridays eye cream. This is what I've been using for a while. I've refilled it a couple times. I love that it, it's orange color. So it does a little bit of color correcting. I have a little bit of dark circles today. I don't know why. I slept good. Oh, can you see my little baby down there? Hi. He's so cute. Oh, got my tank top wet. Um, okay, I need to put some Aqua 4 on my tattoo. It is dry. How dry you can see the little skin coming off. I'm so I'm headed to Miami on in a couple weeks. No, not a couple weeks, five weeks. And I'll, I'll have this tattoo should be done and healed by then. I have one more appointment two weeks before I leave. So I think two weeks is enough for it not to be dry and flaky. I hope so. This is all gonna get done. Anyways, um waiting. I'm going on a trip with One Up Nutrition. So I work with One Up Nutrition. You guys know I talk about them all the time and love them. So I was invited on their annual One Up Bash. And so it's really cool. We, do it. we have a, a team workout, a pool party, a mansion party. It's going to be fun. And I'm going to um, definitely going to vlog it. Of course, Mike is coming with me. So we are really excited about that because we haven't gone on. I mean, even though that's kind of still work, it's not. It's like, to me, I consider that vacation. Like the last LA, the LA trip was like work. Um, so we haven't gone on like a vacation in a while, to be honest. Oh, I want to show you this while I'm in here. Update on this, the Lumi products. I love them. Like every woman needs this. This makes you feel so fresh. I did the soft powder. And it's a bot, like a um, all over body deodorant, especially if you're someone that works out, you just want to feel fresh all the time. You know, you just want to feel like everything is fresh. Definitely. Also the body wash. I have the body wash that I use just like on privates, underarms and the private areas. And then I use this just in private area and you'll just feel fresh and feel good all the time. That's all I can say. To be honest, I'm not even sure what's the point of an essence. Does anybody know what the point of an essence is? Because I don't know. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna throw my, ooh, let me wash my hands so that I don't get my hair greasy. And I'm going to put my hair in a high pony since we're not washing. I don't do ponies like this very often because I don't want to break my hair, but I do love a high pony. The struggle is sometimes, but not all the time. It's actually not bad today. The struggle is usually covering the extensions, but it's not too bad. And since I've been able to like grow some more thicker hair, because I take the hair pill, it's actually easier to do high ponies for there was like probably a whole couple of years where I was not able to wear a ponytail so I still like to kind of like spray this like a little bit but it's so much better you have no idea it was bald like back to here and there was no hair and you probably can't see it in the camera but there's like some hair in here it's way better. Listen, I'm never going to have thick, thick, luscious hair. I just wasn't born with it and no one in my family has it. So 
I'm grateful for what I have. And I know that if I hadn't have taken the steps that I, that I did when I did, uh, I've been a year on the hair pill that it would be, I would not be wearing a ponytail right now. And if you think, if you look back and think like, oh, but I've seen you wear ponytails years ago. Yeah, it was filled in hairline. I have a picture. I'll see if I can find it actually. And I'll put it up here. Where I, and even like, I didn't have enough hair here on the side to cover extensions. So now like I have a more hair here that covers my extensions, if that makes any sense. And my part is like tighter. So yeah, I'm not, this is not sponsored at all, but I, I think the muesli hair pill, my diet, vitamins, just everything that I do, honestly, protein, um, just a lifestyle in general, you know, well, yeah, cause I'm in the, doing the podcast. So like from far off in the camera, it looks like I'm balding. If I don't do a little something, something, what do I have? Mm. I have this powder, thick fiber. It's just like a little stamp. Cause I don't like it to look like fake. So I just like to, just so that it's honestly just to color my scalp a little bit so that my scalp isn't so white right there. So I just tap it a little bit. What do you think? Put a little up front here. Only because my part is so good, like so, so trained that it parts right there. So I'll put a little right there and just a little touch in there. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. Okay, that's it for that. This also comes with a brush and you can like fill in your hair. Should I do that a little bit? Actually, this, I need to get more of this. Kevin Murphy, a light, flexible finishing hairspray. Because I don't like, like, hairspray that's, like, stiff. I love this stuff. All right, so I got three things from Sephora, from the Sephora sale. And one of them is this, the Moroccan Dry Shampoo for Dark Tones. It works really well, but I expected it to be dark. It still kind of leaves that mist or whatever on my hair. And my hair is so dark that it kind of like takes that dark black shine away from it. So only in desperation, I wouldn't purchase this again. So full transparency. But the other two products, 100% really, really happy. So... Uh, first, let me show you. I needed a new sunscreen, so I went with the Kosas Dream Beam Sunlit. This is SPF 40, and it has coloring in it. So, show you that. It's like tinted. Tinted sunscreen. And I love it. No white cast. Ooh, need a little more. Definitely would buy this again. Loved it. Love it. Doesn't have a bad smell. And not that I'm tan right now, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm going to show you. So this does give me a little color. So basically, I saved myself some money. Because instead of buying the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops and a sunscreen, because that's what I used to use together, I just bought this. And this is enough to kind of like give me a little bit of color and give me the benefit of sunscreen. But I also, because I'm going to start tanning with my, um, I'm going to start trying to tan every week with my, my tanning mousse. So... This is not new, but this is the moisturizer I use, the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. And so I use a little bit of that. Not much, just one small drop. This is, I've had it forever. And then I used these already once, and I really like the color they gave me. The Face Illuminating Self-Tan 
drops from Tan Lux. And the more drops you put on, the tan, more tan you will get. But I'm just going to do like two, maybe three drops. If I was, my whole body was tan, I would do like six drops. So you just mix it with your moisturizer and you will have a nice sun-kissed glow. I like it. I used it yesterday and I was like, hey, why does my face look tan? Because I had forgotten. And it was the drops. So really happy with that. And that was, that's the extent of what I purchased at the Sephora sale. Oh, that's so Outfit. This is like a little Here's Alexander Wang crop. I love it. I have it in black oh, and white. These are the studio dance crops from Lululemon. And ooh, what should I do? Should I do New Balance or like some Yeezy vibes? I think we'll go. Ooh, these are suede. Never mind. That made that decision because it is a bit sad. Cutie baby so tired. Cutie baby so tired. I still need to throw some more lipstick on. My niece is on her way over because she is the guest and she's gonna drive over. We're gonna drive over together. I'm vlogging on my phone because I left all the cameras at the studio. <laughs> but here is the outfit. I love these pants from Lulu. I should have probably got another color in them. They're so comfortable, so cute. Wow. Well, you guys, we're ready to go. There is my guest of honor on today's episode of Candidly, or the, what, we're recording it today, Candidly with Coffee. It probably won't be out until next Monday for you guys watching this. So we are going to head to the studio soon look how long her hair is she just brushes it like rapunzel <laughs> look what she's wearing guys do you remember back um on vlogmas i showed you this from anna luisa the little m necklace look how cute it looks it's so cute i love their stuff i have to show you and since i have michelle here to hold my camera it makes it a lot easier um so i got this bag from teddy blake and it's so good. So good. I'm obsessed. I was looking for like a good quality bag, but not like premium, premium prices. So not like Louis Vuitton or Gucci, but something that still was like very high quality. And so this, I picked this one from Teddy Blake. It is so good. Look at that. It, it's that nice, like soft, buttery, like leather. I don't know if you guys can see that texture, but the smell. So it has a crossbody. Let, let me open this. Let's take a look at the inside. Let's take the stuffing out. Oh, it's so roomy. I hadn't taken the stuffing out yet. Look how much room that is. And now without the stuffing, it's like more flimsy. Going out, I think it'd be like a cute clutch. But then also crossbody. So cute, right? All right, you guys, we are interrupting the vlog in progress because after I filmed that little unboxing of the Teddy Blake bag, I did a little more digging into these bags and I just thought I did them a disservice without really describing how amazing this bag is and I'm super excited because I'm going to Miami and this is just like the perfect um, bag to take but first of all the smell of leather when you open it is just the best it's like an intoxicating but these are Italian bags so these are Italian leather bags premium Italian leather crafted in Italy by Italian craftsmen. So like the, the craftsmanship is like next level. These are designer quality handbags without that designer price tag. Um, they're definitely a splurge, but 
worth every penny and again a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for like a designer bag they have so many cute styles on their website you have to check out their website i'm really happy with this one but they did have some other ones that i was kind of deciding between i almost actually got this in pink which i would love that pop of color but this would make an excellent gift for mother's day because it is a quality bag again without that like super extravagant price tag and the quality is you can just tell that it's a quality bag right when you open it like i said the boxing i mean the packaging is amazing the box is like a nice like reusable box and it comes in the dust bag i'm going to put everything down in the description like their instagram their website you could check them out maybe sign up for their email list to see when they drop new styles i know that they drop new styles frequently and that way you can kind of like see what they have and um, just get to know the brand because i really love them and you're gonna see very soon in an upcoming vlog how i style this because this beauty is definitely going to be like my go-to bag on my upcoming trip to miami now i'm on the hunt for like matching wedges or something like that because i think that this will make so many cute outfits so i'm really excited and they also sponsored this portion of the video so if you are interested in shopping them i also have a discount code 30 dollars off your purchase so you can go ahead and use that code and enjoy one of these bags like i said gift giving etc but i just i can't get over the smell it is all right we are headed to the studio we're doing Patreon first, and for those of you guys who don't know, my Patreon is kind of like unfiltered, uncensored, and we are going to talk about Michelle's experience living in the household with my parents and her experience doing that because she was there a whole lot longer than I was. She was there until she was 30. So that is going to be interesting. And um, and then it is ugly outside. Like this is like a winter day. I can't even believe this weather. I'm gonna We're obviously left my on air sign on. Not quite on air yet. The ghosts are on air. Studio B, welcome. <laughs> okay. Couch rotting with my old man. My old man. My old blind man. <laughs> Hello, you guys. I look absolutely awful. I'm actually headed to Orange Theory this morning. It is Sunday morning, so the next day. And I had to switch my schedule around because I had all that recording to do yesterday, so I didn't do Orange Theory. So it's usually my rest day today, but we're going to do Orange Theory. I wanted to show you guys what I've got going on over here. I've just started pulling things that I have for outfit planning for Miami. This is what I do when I'm going on a trip and I kind of just want to get ideas. I start pulling things that I have and then I've been shopping. I haven't bought anything yet, but I've been perusing to kind of just decide what I want to wear. I feel like I'm just, it's only, it's a month away but I still have time, but I just feel like I need to know exactly. Does anyone else like this? I need to like, I will plan out my outfit for each thing that I know I'm doing. And so I don't have to think when I'm there. That is what I'm doing. So that's what I've been kind of doing this morning. I pulled stuff that I already have. I kind of went through my bikinis and then now I've been just online shopping for like different things. So anyways, I'm gonna head to Orange Theory. Actually, I'm going to go in the kitchen right now and let's get some supplements going.
All right, I'm gonna eat this little pre-workout treat. And since it has some good healthy fats in there with the almond butter, I'm gonna go get my pills, my first pills of the day to take that. Cause I like to make sure that I'm eating a good amount of fat. So I'm taking my pills cause a lot of them are fat soluble. So, all right, I've got my pills. By the way, those are, that's a mega fit muffin and it is delicious. I'm actually gonna have Omega Fit meals later today, I think. I think I'm gonna have this one, chicken piccata. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. But, <clears throat> all right, headed to Orange Theory. It feels weird going on a Sunday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because my house was packed. My brother came over with his daughters and his wife and my other brother was in town and my niece was in town. My house was just, it was chaos. And, and it's hard for me, honestly. I don't typically, I like to kind of vlog solo, if that makes sense. I, when I'm with family, you might get little clips here and there, but I, that's just, I'm actually with family. I'm more, I'm, you know, I don't, I'm not on my phone. So it's interesting because my vlogs are actually like when I'm solo, which I'm, I'm actually solo quite a bit, either solo or with Mike, right? Anyway, gosh, I look like poo poo. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna drink my drink. We're gonna get this Orange Theory workout done. Probably go get a little bite to eat, hang in with my cousin for a little bit, and then um, head on home. <laughs> Hello, I didn't end this vlog. And so here I am coming to give you a proper ending. Um, but it was, anyways, I do want to share, I'm gonna insert a picture here because I didn't film it, but I did have the mega fit chicken piccata and it was absolutely delicious. It's huge though. So you can absolutely split that into two meals. I ate it as one meal because I kind of, I had skipped lunch and I had just had a big, huge dinner, um, which was fine for me because I have a huge appetite. But for the normal person's appetite, you'd probably have to split that into two meals. So delicious. And I would definitely recommend it. And then I had, to, um, on another day, I had the filet and tortellinis, which I'll put a picture in here, which was also 10 out of 10. The filet was cooked perfectly. I did reheat it over the pan, but the combo of the steak with the tortellini was just like absolutely delicious. I put in my order for next week's Mega Fit and I ordered three of the filet and tortellinis just to show you how much I loved it. And I ordered one chicken piccata because it will make two meals. But anyways, that's my spiel on Megafit. If you guys want to try Megafit, they are having a sale right now. I think that at the time that this vlog goes out, it's still going on. Try discount code SPRING20. Otherwise, um, make sure you use my link down in the description and that does give me a little bit of credit, which I really do appreciate. And if spring 20 doesn't work, or if you're watching this video at a later date and you want a discount code for Megafit, send me an email or send me a DM on Instagram and I will give you my special discount code. So thank you guys so much for tuning into another vlog and I will see you guys on the next one.